Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get custom songs working on Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock for your RGH or JTAG Xbox 360. It will not work if you have an unmodded retail Xbox 360. You have to have a modded console uh, for this to work. So if you have that, the first thing you're going to want to do is back up your Warriors of Rock save game. Um, there's a small chance that through, through adding some custom songs, your save is going to get corrupted. So it's always a good idea to have a backup of your save just in case that happens. Um, so what I like to do is just plug in a USB flash drive, launch the game, and then go to save, and then select the USB flash drive as the storage device. If you don't already have a save, go to this time in the video, and I'll show you how to get yourself a 100% completion save by using the debug menu. So the next thing you'll want to do is go to the GitHub link in the description to download the newest uh, version of the Onyx Toolkit. So scroll down, and you'll see the, the Assets section. Just choose your, your OS, your operating system. Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. I'm on Windows. So I'll just click it. It'll download. And you may get a little security warning. Um, it's not a big deal. The app is actually safe. Um, it's just being overly cautious. So click on the little arrow here. Keep. And then you can run it. And you'll also get a Windows thing, most likely. So click on More Info. Run anyway. And then the installer will run. So now that Onyx is installed, open it, click on Batch Process, and then stay in the Songs tab. Uh, this is where you're going to want to drag and drop all, the, all of your custom songs that you want to convert to use within Warriors of Rock. Um, Onyx supports a whole bunch of different song formats. Uh, it, it goes over it in the README, uh, but here's a screenshot of that. So this is what I've decided to do. Uh, for organizational purposes, I've made a copy of each song folder that I want to convert, and I place them into corresponding folders. Um, at the song speed that I'd like to play them at. So here's my songs that I want to play at 100% speed. Um, here's songs that are at 110%, etc. Um, it just kind of streamlines the process uh, of converting. It just makes it easier. I would also recommend that you create a new folder to put your converted files into, um, just for organizational purposes. I'm going to name mine uh, Customs 86 because today is August 6th. Uh, name yours whatever you want, of course. But uh, yeah. So to convert a song, you just need to select the song folder. Uh, I guess we'll just do this Preb song. Uh, click and drag it over into the Songs tab. Go over to the GH War 360 tab, and then you would you'd click Create Live Files. But if you do it now, it'll just place the converted file back into the the folder you dragged and dropped in there, and you probably don't want that. So what you do is you click on this little button here, and then you you navigate to the folder you just made to house all of your your converted customs. So here's mine. Customs 86 is what the one I did. So you click OK, and then you click Create Live Files. So it'll do its thing, it'll do the whole conversion. Uh, usually takes quite a bit of time, especially when you do, you know, hundreds of songs at a time. So just be patient. This one was pretty quick because uh, the song isn't very long. So now if we go back to the, the folder we had created, Customs 86, here it is. This is the converted custom, ready to use in Warriors of Rock. If you want to make a speed up, that's really, that's really simple too. Just go back to the uh, the War 360 tab, and up here is is the speed at you, which you want. You can go at literally 1% intervals or at 5% intervals. So let's just say you want to do it at 150%. Um, you don't have to do this again because it's already set. Create live file, and now it'll make a conversion that's at 150% at speed. And both of those files can coexist at the same time. Uh, you, can, you can have a whole bunch of different uh, speeds of the exact same song at once in the set list. So here we go. Uh, here it is. Here's the original one, here's 150. So now that you've converted a few customs, now you need to make a custom cache. So what you gotta do is close out of the batch process, open up other tools, uh, and then go to GH4 cache. And then just simply drag the, the two customs that you made into the, the cache creator. Now, important to note, once you create this custom cache and put it on your system, all of your Warriors of Rock official DLC will not show up. So if you want it to show up, you have to you have to put all the, the files for your official DLC into the cache as well. So, I want to do that, so I did that there. Uh, so now I just click on Create GH War Cache File, and select where you want to put it. Um, I'll just put it in the same folder I had the, the customs as. Uh, so click Save, it'll do it, doesn't take very long. And uh, here we go, here's our custom cache. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to put it onto your system. So the best way I've found to get these new customs onto your Xbox successfully is to inject them onto a flash drive using Horizon. Um, if you don't use Horizon, uh, sometimes the transfers will just fail. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, if you use Horizon, it's guaranteed that the customs will uh, successfully transfer over to your console. So uh, if you don't have Horizon, go to the link in the description, download it, and then uh, once it's up, uh, have your flash drive in, click on inject new file, select your customs and your custom cache, and there you go. Now they're on your flash drive. So now I'm going to take it over to the console and move them to where it needs to be. Alright, so now we're over on the console. Um, I'm using Aurora. If you have a different dashboard, I trust that you'll know this process uh, yourself. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to go to the, the file manager. Uh, I'm going to go over to the USB drive. I'm going to tab back over so I can have the hard drive over here. So on the USB, go to the content folder, zero, find the Warriors of Rock folder, the 0002 folder, and then select everything on the inside and copy it. So now go over to the hard drive, go to the content folder, take the same path, the zeros, Warriors of Rock, and then the 0002 marketplace. And uh, here's all the official DLC that I had in my cache. Um, so now I just paste in the, the stuff I had, I had copied, and there we go. All right, so now we're in game. Uh, let's go see if it worked. So we're going to go into quick play. And then let's go find our custom songs. Should be in the A's. There they are. Both of them, 100% speed and 150% speed. So there you have it. That's how you get custom songs in Warriors of Rock. Um, I am using a debug right now, so I have the bot on. Um, and I highly suggest that you also uh, use a debug XEX sometimes uh, because you can unlock some kind of cool stuff. If you saw my, my Through the Fire and Flames video uh, using all the hero powers, that's only accessible through the debug menu. Um, the way you do that is by going into quest mode and then using the debug menu to change the song uh, to whatever custom song you'd like. Uh, it could be an official DLC song. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you need the debug menu to do that. So I'm going to show you real quick how to get debug menu working on all of your uh, Neversoft games. As you can see, the bot is not very good. Okay, so to get all the debug executables, go to the link in the description, um, courtesy of Zedekins from the Milohax Discord server for making all these debug executables and uploading them here to Mega. Um, so just click download. It will download, uh, unzip it, and then this is what you'll see. Um, you'll have a debug executable for every single Neversoft era uh, Guitar Hero game. Um, Aerosmith and Smash Hits will need, uh, you'll need to replace a couple other files. Um, that's, that's in this, uh, the readme here. Um, but yeah, anyways, just move all these over to your flash drive or get them onto your Xbox in, in one way or another and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so now we're over in the console. Um, I have my flash drive in, I have all the debugs here. So I'm just going to select Guitar Hero Warriors Rock debug copy it and over on my hard drive in my games folder this is what I've done I have created a copy of every single game a guitar hero game uh, so I can have a completely unmodified stock copy of the game and a debug version of the game um, so I just made a copy of every folder and then in the copied one that, I, that I've renamed to debug um, I would simply I should probably go into the Warriors of Rock one huh? I would uh, just paste the the XEX in there and then rename it to default XEX uh, because Aurora just works better if you have it renamed to, de to default XEX. So once, it, once it's in there, rename it and you should be good to go. All right, so I have launched the debug executable. Um, so if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the main menu, that's where the debug menu is and also in the pause menu. Uh, there's tons of cool stuff in here to mess around with. Um, but this is the part where I said um, if you didn't have a, a save already, you can just Start, start a new save and unlock all the songs very quickly. Um, so begin the new quest and uh, just uh, press the debug beat encore and it'll just skip that entire character's uh, songs. It just everything is already done. Uh, so go through everything. Uh, you could even dominate all the tiers if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, all the songs would be unlocked then. And once uh, you have dominated the entire uh, the entire quest, you you have access to the all-powerful mode where all of the hero powers are available to you. So, in the in the debug menu, you can change whatever song you're playing currently to any song you want, uh, including customs. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to load up any song. We'll just do this one right away. And uh, as soon as this, as soon as the song loads, um, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to go to the debug menu. And then in-game, play song, one player, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, your 
your custom songs and the Warriors of Rock uh, DLC songs will be in this top downloadable content. This is the Guitario 5 downloadable content. This is the World Tour. Um, so it'll be th this one if you want to play custom songs. And I only have um, this this one custom song that I had for demonstration. So I'll just put that one on and go through it. Guitar, Expert, uh, I'll keep the bot on and start. It'll take a second to, uh, to load, but it'll do it. And uh, you'll have every hero power active. So yeah, what you just saw there was just one of the major limitations of uh, playing fast custom songs in Warriors of Rock. Uh, the game will just crash if there's too many notes on the screen at one time. Um, I don't know if there's a possible fix for this, uh, but in its current state, that is, that's just the way it is. Um, so I'm sure a lot of the faster Clone, clone Hero songs that you will convert uh, will end up crashing. Some do, some don't. It doesn't really seem very consistent to me, um, but y you'll just have to see for yourself. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This should be everything you need to know about uh, getting customs on Warriors of Rock working for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, major thank you to Onyxite again for, for making this, um, for letting me test it early, help him iron out some bugs before release. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.